To demonstrate an important point about stable approaches, in this video I fly an ILS approach in visual conditions to a landing at Bowerman Airport at Hoquiam on the Washington coast. Pilots use many techniques to fly instrument approaches. Although the details vary, a key concept is establishing and maintaining a consistent profile, a pitch attitude, power setting, and aircraft configuration that delivers predictable performance and reduces your workload during a challenging phase of flight. In other words, knowing and flying the numbers for your airplane is the foundation of flying a stabilized approach. For example, to track an ILS glide slope in a Cessna 172, set the pitch attitude about 2 degrees nose down, power at about 1,900 RPM, and set flaps 10. This configuration results in a descent at about 500 feet per minute at 90 knots. Adjust power and pitch to compensate for headwinds or tailwinds, which affect ground speed, as you continue down the glide slope. But establishing this profile, or a slight variation that works in the particular 172 that you fly, helps you fly consistent approaches. In the A36 Bonanza that I fly, the numbers are different, but the concept is the same. I use the precision approach profile recommended by the American Bonanza Society, which in my airplane calls for a pitch attitude of minus 2 to 3 degrees, with the throttle set at about 17 inches of manifold pressure and prop at 2,500 RPM. Flaps are set at the approach detent, 12 degrees in my 1989 A36, and I extend the landing gear as I intercept an ILS glide slope or RNAV glide path. This configuration consistently results in a descent that tracks the glide slope or glide path at 110 knots indicated airspeed. I use this configuration to fly almost all approaches, because even when I fly a non-precision 2D approach, the GTN 750 Navigator provides an advisory glide path that I can track to the MDA with the same setup. I reduce power to about 15 inches manifold pressure, and therefore airspeed to about 90 knots, if I'm approaching a runway with less than 3,000 feet available, but most runways with instrument approaches are at least that long. Like the 90 knot flaps 10 approach in a Cessna 172, the standard Bonanza configuration provides a stable platform as I descend to the runway, reducing the effect of crosswinds and turbulence, and preserving energy for a missed approach, should a go-around be necessary. It's much easier to pitch up, power up, clean up, and climb away from this configuration than it would be while flying more slowly and with full flaps extended. My stabilized approach technique also calls for not changing the aircraft configuration below 500 feet. If, based on the latest weather, I'm confident that I will break out above 500 feet, I can extend full flaps and make a normal VFR-like landing. But if the reported visibility and ceiling suggest that I'll have to continue on instruments below 500 feet, and perhaps need to go mist, upon seeing the runway environment I just reduce power, smoothly decelerate, and land, without adding more flaps. As this video shows, I float a bit longer than when I land with full flaps, but with practice the total landing distance isn't significantly greater. And if I do need to climb away, the airplane is better set up for the initial climb. Okay, we are about uh, 24 miles from Hoquiam, just northeast of that. East of Hoquiam. Yeah, Center Alaska 1080, 11 climbing. At 4,500. And, uh, vectoring ourselves to join the DME arc to fly the ILS runway 24 approach. Into Hoquiam, we've got the weather and the altimeter set. It's good to be afar. The airport is in sight. We're going to go out to uh, ZDAT and um, join the arc there. I'm currently just flying a heading to get some. Uh, an angle to join that arc a little more gracefully. Contact channel approach 126.5. We're about 31 26.5. miles from there. A little over 11 minutes, 11 and a half minutes. I've already set up the uh, VNAV. I've set 2100, which is the altitude crossing uh, the final approach fix at NETI. And VPATH is active. 42, contact channel center 132.07. 3207, red 21, 42, good day. We're just going to parallel a course out toward uh, ZDAT here. Get a little bit farther uh, north of it. Uh, 
I've set the minimums, they're 216. Again, this is an ILS approach, so we will have to switch to green needles once we join the final and the final approach fix becomes active. That should happen automatically once I set up the uh, ILS frequency in the active side of number uh, one nav. Currently, I'm showing it off the uh, Oakland BOR for the ARC, but we'll fly it with the uh, and Seattle Center of Flight Design 93, Victor Mike, I was coming in a little bit broken on approach. Everything's set up for the uh, approach. We only have our final landing items to take care of. Landing gear flaps, mixture, and prop. Lights, we have landing light on, strobes, nav, beacon are all on. We don't need any ice protection, obviously. We're now about twelve miles from the Z dash. Two hundred seven, Camp Hudson, four good. We join in the arc, and we should be able to descend then to a twenty eight once we're established on the arc. Established on the arc. We have a top of descent. We're staying up here at 45 for now. armed approach mode. So localizer and glide slope are both in white. V-path is still armed as well. Getting a localizer preview now. Showing the correct course, 241. It'll be a little wonky since we're still well south of the airport. About, uh, okay, one minute to a vertical track, so I'm going to go ahead and reduce power to about 18 inches. Help us keep our speed under control with the uh, descent and also get us sort of configured for the approach. Port our happy place. The path marker's coming down. We're gonna leave the airplane uh, clean for now. Flaps up, gear up. Got a ways to go yet. Hawaiian 29, traffic no factor, climbing chain, follow 400. Follow 400, Hawaiian 29, thanks. Deep path, that's 142, traffic no factor. United 142, thanks. Fair wings 421, contact channel approach 125.6. 1256, fair wings 421. Starting our descent. Okay. Alaska 736, clear exit foot. 
Direct foot, 736. Line 29, thanks for your help. Conduct shell center 132.07. 32 7, line 29. Line 29. See, this gives us a comfortable descent clean. And with about 17 to 18 inches of manifold pressure, we're doing about 145 knots indicated. Coming down a little over 500 feet per minute. within our landing gear and flap speed if we want it, but we'll wait until we level off here and that will slow down as we get to, toward the turn inbound. Airport's in sight. We'll go ahead and start monitoring the CTAF now. Traffic, Bonanza, 46 Fox Threats. About to turn a 12 mile final runway 24, full stop. Bowerman. South area training, training area 20236 at 2500. Track to take maneuvers. South training area. Nice smooth intercept. We're at 23. Glide slope and uh, localizer now active green needles. Rich. We'll wait on the flaps a little bit longer. Do flaps and gear as we intercept. We're pretty far out still. Armament traffic, Bonanza, 46 Fox Press now, 9 mile final, straight in runway 24, full stop. Hope we have Bowerman. And as you can see, with 17 inches of manifold pressure, we're stabilizing at about 120 knots clean. Vertical tracks coming in. We have one more quick leg here toward uh, Nettie. We're about 2.5 miles from Nettie. Our missed approach altitude is 2,500. Set that one. We don't have to worry about lights today. Airport's in sight. If the nav glide pass is about to go active. Winds are basically calm. Path is now active. We're starting down. Approach flaps. Speed checks. We'll get the glide path here in just a second. Glide path now active. Speed checks. Gear coming down. Taxi light on. Three green. Props at 25. Altitude goes to 25. Happy place configuration's working out pretty well. About 17 inches, 110 knots, we're on the glide path. Glide slope. Bowerman traffic, Bonanza 46 Foxtrot, 5 mile final runway 24. Full stop, Bowerman. On speed, on center line, on glide slope. No traffic heard or seen. We're not activating the lights. Three mile final runway two four. We 
Tiger, three green, approach flaps. Armin traffic, Bonanza, four six Fox trots. Two mile final, five hundred four, full stop, Armin. bumps down here. Water's pretty calm, though. I'm wanted to go. Tracking just right of the center line. Correcting. Bit of a crosswind from the left. Autopilot, flight director, yacht amber coming off. Approaching minimums. Here's our minimum for landing. Power comes smoothly back. We are landing. 90 knots over the fence. We're landing with just approach flaps, three green. So we'll float just a little bit. Okay. 